Rakatei Hawa, 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 all right, Akim, coming to you brothers again. You Akim again with another sit down to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Ka. We'd like to give infinity honors to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. Ka. Starting from Apostle um, Tahar. Ka. Gabar. Ka. Aramla. Ka. Rakar. Ka. Manatazak. Ka. And all the other Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity, man. Ka. Shout out to the hopeful elect, me the most side raise you up in a speedy fashion. Special shout out to the light of Gentiles camp. We love y'all brothers, man. Ka. And you know, we got a little quick sit down that jumped on the um, brother Kasap spirit, man, that we're going to get into real quick, man. Ka, all right. Ka. So I, I just was reading through some scriptures and I, I felt like... It's a lot here, brother. This is the brother Karal Kalkahan. Ka, this uh Kasap Shapar. Huh. All right. And uh, I was just reading through some scriptures. All right. What happened in Genesis. All right. And the thing that happened in Genesis was the flood. All right. So now... You know, the most high in the, in this manuscript, the most high said he's not going to flood the earth no more. Like, this earth will have to get put, you know, through the fire, through another cleansing, you know, type of way. So the fire is coming to, you know, to America, all right? Destruction is coming to the, um, America. So we're going to start with the scripture from before. Let me get Genesis 6 and 11. Ah, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's what this title is about, man. You know what I'm saying? First a flood, not a fire. That's you know right. What I'm saying that's the title right there, man. Cause you gotta understand, the Most High, yeah, he did it. He did it real, real good the first time. You know what I'm saying? He had a good little deep cleanser, just like how when you uh, washing dishes. You know what I'm saying? Huh. But that second time, he gotta really get to the roots now, man. The only mm -hmm. way to do that is with fire. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That fire is a cleansing agent. Mm -hmm. Just like when somebody's trying to take a needle and just patch you up, they gotta take that fire, fire to sterilize mm -hmm. it, man. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So the first one was just like that little glow. Now that second one gonna be like that fabuloso, man. Cause mm -hmm. when this place start burning up, that's that sweet smell that the Most High likes to smell, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So we got Genesis six and eleven. Huh. It says the earth also was corrupt before the Most High. Mm. And the earth was filled with violence. All right. So, you know, where, where do you see violence at right now? Where do you see corruption? You see corruption with the whole earth, with the government, mm -hmm. with the presidential, uh, president, with the president, Trump. You know, you see corruption through him. Right. You see corruption through, you know, even through the food, the GMOs. Right. You know, the white supremacy. Right. The justice system. All right. Right. And you, you even got corruption where, where you have men sleeping with men, same sex, sodomites. Right. You know, females sleeping with females, you know, sodomite acts. These are things that's corruption to the world. And these are things why this place have to get destroyed because everything, this, this, this place stands for everything against the most high. All right. right? So now this place will have to be cleanse in another way and that's through that fire time brother we have verse 12 mm -hmm. it says and the most high looked upon the earth and behold it was corrupt mm -hmm. for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth mm -hmm. so that means that the people was going off Till this day, you still have people going off, you know, following Esau doctrine, you know, want to smoke weed all day, you know, want to get into these pedophilia rings and stuff like that. These these, these things right here are, are corruptions, abominations to the Lord. Come. And that's why these 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 people, these wicked people on earth got to have to be uh, get destroyed, man. All right. So so basically the most high is warning the prophets, letting Come. them know, giving him visions, letting them know that, OK, you know, things are, are willing to come. These are signs I'm going to give you guys to let you know that this place is about to be destroyed. Come. We All have right. verse 13. Mm -hmm. And the Most High said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, mm. for the earth is filled with violence through them. Mm -hmm. And behold, I will destroy them from the earth. Okay, so now, what the Most High told Noah, he basically warned Noah. He told Noah, Hey, I'm about to destroy this place. What y'all want you to do is build an ark. You know, and that's what you see all around, you know, the four corners of the earth. You see the elders, you see the GMS camp God. set up. And these are the people that's warning you, letting you know you need to repent. You need to come back into the Lord and, and, and come back into your heritage and your ways before you be destroyed like these other people, man. So that's why the, the elders of GMS are set up was to warn you people, to let you know what's about to happen, the destruction of America. And, you know, you have to come back into this 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 thing right here, this beautiful thing right here, and that's the Lord, and coming back to the Lord and listening to his words, Con. following his commandments. Con. All right? That's real love right there, okay? Come brother. All right? 
So Come yeah, I'm, I think that's yeah, that's what I think the second Come. Peter's. All right, because now he's not about to flood this place no more. Mm -hmm. Now this place has to get put in another cleansing state, and and there's, there's two ways you could cleanse something through water mm -hmm. and through fire. Come. And he's going to go into it in the second Peter's. Second Peter's what? Three and ten. We got second Peter's. Three and ten. Time. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Mm, hold on, right there. The day of the Lord will come in as a thief in the night. So you're not going to know when to repent. That's why you need to just stop pointing it off and do it now. Because time. you don't know when the Lord's going to come back. All right? It says that he's going to come like a thief at night. So no one's going to know when he's going to come back. All right? So that's why we, on the highways and byways, you have GMS camps set up everywhere for you guys to, for them to warn you and to tell you that this place is going to be destroyed. And if you dwell in with this place and don't come back to the side of the Lord, you're going to get destroyed with it. Come on, brother. All right. It says, it says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and mm -hmm. the elements shall melt with fervent heat and mm -hmm. the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. All right. And what do you mean by the, that great noise? That great noise are talking about the, the nuclear, the nuclear warheads, man. Right. It's going to be shot from every different uh, country, from, from Russia, from, from, from Korean, from America. Huh. So when they push that button, you're going to hear that loud noise. That means that's going to be a trembling on the earth. Huh. All right. Another thing it said, fervor and heat, and it said all the elements, man. You have to understand this place has to go down with a deep, deep cleansing, man. That's right. For all the sins. You gotta remember also, don't just forget, don't, don't just don't think about now, think about the past, man. Mm -hmm. You God. know, you had we are right now walking on hundreds of millions of dead Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Native American Indians, man. All their blood has been shed, man. You know what I'm saying? Their blood is soaked within the ground of this wicked place you call America, man, mm -hmm. and all throughout the world. So this place needs a deep cleansing to get all that sin out, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of all this corruption that's going on in the earth. Right. All right, you have all these wicked people that that stands against the Bible, that does everything, that's not, that, that does whatever the Bible tells you. Like, they, the Bible gave you laws for you to follow. These people uh. do not follow the laws that the statute and commandments that the Lord gave us, all right? They try to disinherit us from, you know, our ways, which they kind of succeeded. But, you know, the Lord put that spirit on the elders of GMS for them to teach us our, our ways and get us back to our, our heritage and, and, and for us to come back into the Lord. Come on. All right. One thing about us, man, we never hide our face, man. You That's know what right. I'm saying? We always put ourselves on Front Street to let y'all know what it is from the very beginning, man. Just like the prophets are old, we're doing the same thing now. Mm -hmm. Scriptures also tell you, man, you know, the most high make up a wise man face to shine man and through the spirit i'm looking at this thing i kept trying to move it so y'all can see the brother a little more but yeah, it's just on this big glass yeah yeah Kyle. i just said let me just keep it there for the spirit Kyle. but you know i don't know maybe you want brother to see your face but it's they know right. they know you here it's they know right. you here man Kyle. that's the most side i ain't gonna mess that up that's the most side man um oh, that that's it with that scripture you want me to keep going um this is revelations okay yeah you this is revelations Chapter 19, verse 20. Right. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? It says the beast was taken. Who's that beast, man? That beast is NATO. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's NATO, man. You know what I'm saying? It says the false prophet, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand in this world, all this stuff is done by the elites, man. That's right. You know, because, yeah, this place is going to be burnt up, but it's even higher than that, man. It all starts from the elites, man. Now, That's why right. this place is so wicked. And you have to understand those miracles is talking about everything that he's able to do. Because you got to remember... When you guys, you see, a lot of you dudes online, y'all get so fascinated by this whole cryptocurrency, but you don't even understand the deepness of what it's mm -hmm, really about, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they, what they're doing is a global reset mm -hmm. because that fiat money can't last no more. That's right. So by doing that, when they're doing that global reset, it really comes back down to them basically trying to get the fuel that's going to... Um, that the fuel to the market of beast, man, mm -hmm. which is the RFID yep. chip. Push out that chip. Because once you have that chip, what's going to happen is... Everything, everything now is digital. It's a, di it's a digital currency. Huh. So now, when you have that chip, that's gonna be the only way you're gonna be able to buy, sell, get certain funds, live a certain lifestyle. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Live a lifestyle, period, basically. Huh. So when it says miracles, everything they're doing is with technology. Mm -hmm. So prime example, you know, you have a, you got a lot of people today that took the chip and now they're actually able to hear. They have mm -hmm. special hearing, hearing mm -hmm. aids where they actually 
remember there was videos before when you said you heard people saying they, they get hair and color. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's certain people that they actually could put certain limbs on. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. why you got eye robot. Mm -hmm. They actually have different mechanical um, limbs that they put on them for, for um, legs where they actually can move around now. That's these miracles, man. Mm -hmm. and that's, but that's a lot of them all have that chip within it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have certain people there's, to date right now that was blind and now they can see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Due to Esau and his miracles, man. Mm -hmm. But what you don't understand is by doing that, you're going to cause your demise because now you're putting so much faith into Esau, Esau. consider him like a god. So mm -hmm. you're going to take his money. False prophet. Which means you're going to take his chip, man. Mm -hmm. That's false prophet. He's going to set it up for, you're going to need the chip. Like even with the government shutdown, a lot of people don't notice that some of these people are living off the government assistance, man. Right. So now when the government shut down, what are you going to do? Oh, well, if you guys want to receive this or receive that, well, what we want you to do is just take this chip. All right? They're going to put, they're going to try to put it in a way for them to normalize it. Just how like, they, they normalize in pedophilia, okay. sodomites, okay. all the things that's going on. They're going to try to normalize the chip for where you're going to need the chip. They're going to, they, they're going to have, they're going to have it to where this place is going to collapse so bad that you're going to need something to grasp to, and that's going to be that chip, man. Don't get deceived. It tells you right there, uh, verse 20. It says, uh, this is Revelation 19 to 20, and the beast was taken, and with him false prophets that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that, had, that received the mark of the beast. So that's what he's going to do, man. He's going to deceive you. That's, that's, that's this whole game. That's Satan's whole game, man, is just to deceive you, to distract you to what's really going on, man, and to make you believe into his doctrines and his ways. Come on, brother. All right? Come on. Uh, continuing. And them that worship his image, mm -hmm. these both were cast alive into a lake of, of fire burning with brimstone. Right, and it's basically synonymous, man. Worshiping his images is still worshiping him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Taking that mark of the beast. Huh. Or if you want to make it even more plain, um, worshiping that Caesar Bourget. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that that's the so-called um, Christ, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Which is us, which y'all ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But when you worship that image, you're basically saying that you worship um, Esau's society and everything mm -hmm. that it stands for. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you take that mark of the beast, that's your ultimate damnation. You're going to be hit by those nuclear missiles. Man. That's right. That's it. You know, that's it. As soon as you take that mark, you're done. You're destroyed, man. It, it clearly tells you not to take the mark, man. You know, these, these, this, this, this Bible is so beautiful because it was a manuscript made just for us or our learning how to remove, how to, uh, you know, move around this wicked place in this society, man. You know, this was set up for us, you know, for us. So what the scriptures are saying is that. You know, this place is going to have to get burnt with with, with, uh, with fire, like a brimstone fire, man. Huh. Because it's so wicked, there's no other way to go around it, man. The, huh. the Most High flooded the earth, and he promised he wasn't going to do it again. That's why you see the rainbow, you know. But now, it's, this place has to get filled with fire, man. That's another cleansing state because of so much wicked acts that's going on. Huh. All right? All right that's it on that. You got another one? Yeah, I got Matthews here. Matthews 24, 36, and 30. All right. Huh. I got it. So I can. Yeah, you probably can put like your jacket right there so you can see your face a little more. Like on, the uh, side. On, on the side, right there. So I can. Nope. Yeah, I like just shot it. Yeah, it's <laughs> not yeah, there's no way. It's so like, yeah. Is this spirit? Yeah, calm. This is Matthews. Chapter 24, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my fathers only. Right, man. Meaning what? Meaning that not even Yahweh Shah know the end of the times, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Only the Most High knows the end of the times, which lets you know, again, just like that powerful scripture the brother brought out, how... You know, the Most High is going to come like a thief in the night. You don't know what time the Most High is going to end this thing, man. Mm -hmm, that's so right. So the best thing you can do is try to get right with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go to 34th and 7th. Listen to the apostles of GMS through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. Get into this thing. Learn how to be a teacher, man. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to read the scriptures the proper way. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Learn how to be more brotherly, you know? Mm -hmm. Learn yeah. how to prophesy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Lord willing, you can be saved in that time, man. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? This is not the time to be fooling around, you know what I'm saying? Cooning, going to parties, bullshitting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Worried about how much money you trying to make for 2018, man. Listen, we, we want this thing to be done yesterday, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. right. That's right. You know, again, in touch on that, man, you know, right now is not the time to be dwelling in this place, man, to be dwelling up on earth. 
because right now you, you can see all the prophecies happening right now. I mean, you see what's going on with the California uh, wildfire, with the mudslide, Venezuela, you know, the slavery in Libya. All these things are, are prophesized and, and it's coming to light. And now it's opening other people's eyes and now they see it. Now they starting to question like, wow, so what's going on with, you know, the government? What's going on with Trump? What's going on with Kim Jong-un? This has been set up. The Most High set this up for them to take down each other for us to come up and rise up and, and, and get back into a righteous state. Come. All right. This is 30, verse 37, Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah, Noah were, Noah, Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Right, man. Just like the days of Noah, because in the days of Noah, what they was doing around that time, right before the... Most high flooded the place, man. They was partying. Mm -hmm. They was bullshitting. They was, a, they was doing a whole bunch of sodomy. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? They was doing a whole bunch of wickedness, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Idol worshiping. You know what I'm saying? Cursing out the Lord's name. You know what I'm saying? Bowing down to Baal. They was doing anything under the sun. And guess what? You're doing the same thing now, man. Yep, you know what I'm saying? You got nothing but these young MAs walking around, man. You know what I'm saying? You got nothing but these big freeders walking around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's at the point now where they're trying to make pedophilia legal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just start coming out. They're trying to work on that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got, you got um, sodomite rights now, LGBT mm -hmm. rights, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got all these you got all these people that we're in this society glorify drug dealers. They glorify um, all, the, all the wickedness of this world, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The same right. thing that Noah was going through right before that flood, same thing they're doing now, man. Mm -hmm. So what, what tells, if, if that don't, you know, ring a bell in your mind, that the same thing that was happening over with Noah and this place got flooded, and it tells you in the scripture that this place is going to get hit with nuclear missiles. What that don't like ring a bell in your mind for you to come back into this thing and to repent. Come. That should give you a thought in your mind, like, damn, Noah. This thing got flooded with Noah, and the same thing that's happening with you know going on with the with the time of Noah, and the same thing's happening now. Yeah, this place is about to get destroyed. That that don't ring a bell in your mind, like, wow. Okay, let me let me repent. Let me come back to the Lord. Let me at least try to get up in this thing. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't enough to heal earth before you to go to jail, be dead, or or just be wicked, man, and be lost. Come. All right? Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right. They're doing the same thing now. You know what I'm saying? Basically, just being festivities, man. They're the same thing. You got people right now getting married. You know what I'm saying? They All they're talking about is how Gucci man got married to this person. Mm -hmm. and all these people trying to get married and all these people trying to live it up. All these people trying to buy property. God. You know what I'm saying? They're doing everything under the sun. And just like in that time, because remember, they didn't believe Noah for years when he said that, yo, it was going gonna, gonna to rain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the most high going to flood the earth. Because back then, they didn't have rain. You know what I'm saying? You'll have water. You have like little dude just like down like, south. Like yeah. little must. Yeah, like, 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 like dude, uh, mist, yeah, that'll mist. come over the ground. So they didn't believe it. It seemed far-fetched to them. Gosh. But even now, it's like you can see it. You know what I'm saying? You really think that all these different um, countries are going to make all these nuclear missiles and nobody's going to use it, man? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear what's really going on with Russia and, um, and America. I'm not even talking about North Korea. They small, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But talking about like Russia, you know what I'm saying? Iran, America, man, these people gonna really push that button, man. Mm -hmm. So you really think something's not gonna happen? You right. can feel the tension in the air. Yeah, you can. Fine. Fine, yeah. right, man. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. All right? So that's what the Most High is gonna do, man. And in and, and the time, he's gonna take. You know, everyone's away, man. This place is going to get destroyed with nuclear fire. And he's going to come back for the, the people that's been doing his commandments, you know, following his ways, you know, being righteous, being brothery, and pushing out this truth sincerely, man. Right, man. It said the flood came. You know what I'm saying? It didn't say it. It, it didn't say that it was possible that it came. It, it said it confidently. It came. Mm -hmm. So just like how that flood came, this nuclear fire flood is going to come, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Verse, 30, uh, verse 39 And knew not until the flood came And took them all away So shall also the coming of the son of man be Right, and that's the same thing now mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying And that time when, when those nuclear missiles fire off The son of man, Yahweh Shah Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah mm -hmm, That's right going to come back with his, with his um, chariots, man you know what I'm saying? With those nuclear capabilities and he gonna put an end to this place, man. That's right. I, you know what I'm saying? In that time, there's gonna be nothing but destruction out here. And mm -hmm. just like how I said in that, and just like how I said in that time, how they all hit the flood, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna everybody's gonna feel it, man. Besides 
the one besides the um one third, man, the elect, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Other than that, everything else is gonna be destroyed, man. In righteousness' sake. That's right. That's it. Uh, yeah. That's it on that. Uh, Sit on that, con. You want me? So get um the um fit, this, um second Edris fifteen. Fifteen. Con. That's fine. I got. It. This is second Edris chapter fifteen verse fourteen. Woe to the world. And them that dwell therein. Right, man. Woe. Woe means what? Destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Because it's going to be nothing but major destruction and chaos that's going to come to this place mm -hmm. called America, man. That's right. And Lord willing, 2018 be that year, man. That's like right. The, like the apostles who said, this is the... This is the year of prophecy, prophecy, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I, and prophecy says that this place will be destroyed, man. So Lord willing, this be that year, man. That's right. I, Go ahead. Verse 15. For the, for the sword... And their destruction draweth nigh. Mm -hmm. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right. And we slowly seeing that now, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For the last few years, all you've heard about is what? Race riots. Race, race riots, riots going on over riots. here in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Race riots in New York. Race mm -hmm. riots over here in Venezuela. Race riots. There's race riots everywhere, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got Esau. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, in the, in the skies of police. You know what I'm saying? Against Jake, man, mm -hmm. which is two thirds. Because if you're a man of the Lord, you're not gonna be out there rioting, man. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You're gonna put your you're gonna put your faith in the heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know what I'm saying, That's keep right. going. And, and and again, it's stirring up all the other nations. Like right now, you see, you know, the the the, the Israel tribe, the lost Israel tribe, getting stirred up. Even with the little H M M uh, incident that happened with the little boy, the coolest monkey in the jungle. Right. You know, these are things that's getting stirred up, man. All right, brother. And and you you see. You know, and, and, and these elites are so prideful that they really don't care. They're just putting out their forefront. Right. You know, for you, for everyone to see how, how they get down. Right, because these dudes, are, and they've been doing that constantly. It's almost like every month they do something and then apologize for it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. You put it out already. You put it out. You so. knew you was going to put it out. You knew it was going to offend us. Then you was going to apologize, but you put it out already. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the coolest monkey. They knew that was going to offend us. Mm -hmm. But they knew after that they was going to just apologize for it, and that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. Even with Trump, when he called the... Uh, the basketball players get them son of a bees off off the off the off the field. Right. The NFL players, the basketball players. Even now, he talking about what? Talking about Haiti, man. Mm -hmm. Those other countries saying they pieces of shit. Pieces, piece of crap, and man. And people getting upset about it. Yeah, he's like, not gonna apologize about that though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And rightfully so, because y'all need to wake up to who the devil is, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It's right in front of your face every day on CNN, or yeah. on the TVs, or, or, or talking, you know, in the media. You know, these people are gonna put push out the media to portray one thing. But it's really to brainwash you, you know. For, for you to have that spiritual eye, you you should know. Okay, this is what's going on. Okay, that's what that really means, you right. know. Good. All right. Verse fifteen. For the sword of their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Right. Verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. Right, man. It's gonna be an uprising, man. And you seeing that going on now? All you gotta do is just turn on channel, channel. Matter of fact, just turn on CNN, man. Mm -hmm. CNN, you know what I'm saying? RT News, man. All you gotta do is just look at the news. All That's you hear right. about is war, man. That's right. All you hear about is war. You know what I'm saying? They trying to invade this place. This place trying to invade them. All of a sudden, you got they breaking sanctions. You got mm -hmm. freaking Russia with North Korea. They saying they had a sanction, but now you see North Korea is over here. Work got their workers over here in Russia, so mm -hmm. they can bring back that money back to um, North Korea. But at the same time, they was telling the whole world they had a sanction. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you could see everything stirring up, man. That's right. Go ahead. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Right, man. These dudes don't give a damn about what Obama was saying. They don't give a damn about what Trump is saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All these different people, man. They don't care about who they, what their leaders are saying no more. These people are pissed off, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You, you look at Ishmael, man. These dudes are so pissed off. They they so pissed off, man. They want everything to go back to how it used to be. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You look at all these different countries, and everybody is just upset at these wicked people ruling, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They realize that this place is. They realize there's nothing in this place no more, man. That's right. Yeah, but just, well, destruction in this place, man. Right. And continuing verse 16, and the the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just look at the TPS, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you got all these Levites that's trying to stay in America. And guess what? 
Mm-hmm. Trump is closing down shop, man. Mm-hmm. Salvador you know people, yeah, yeah. Salvador, he yeah. kicking y'all back to Haiti. Yeah, some of y'all try to run to Canada. Even from Canada, they took y'all, brought y'all back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He calling these, freak, he calling the um, it's a call. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so called Mexicans, anchor babies. He trying to ship y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, it came out I think like t- uh, t- uh, two weeks ago or something like that on the news where it was talking about how you got these Russians and they, what they'll do is they'll have their women come over here and get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So this way, when the kid is born here. They can um, be a legal citizen, mm. but Trump, Trump Trump's trying to put a stop to that too, man. Mm-hmm. Ah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I just said, they're not gonna be able, man. Yeah, that's so that's so powerful that these descriptions are letting you know what's going on till today. Well, like what's happening right now, it tells you right there that uh, man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able to. All right, that's talking about the immigration right there, man. How he's trying to send back all the so-called Mexicans. All the so-called MS-13 problems, Salvador's, all the people that's from Haiti, huh. you know, everyone that's not, you know, a citizen here, he's just trying to get rid of you guys and ship you guys back, you know, and that's so beautiful about the scriptures because the scriptures is telling you right there and there in your face that a man should desire to go in this city and shall not be able to. Come on, brother. Verse 18, for, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. Right, and that's the problem, man, because America, you know what I'm saying, the big bully, because of y'all pride, man. Mm-hmm, pride. You know what I'm it's because of y'all pride that this whole place is going to be destroyed, man. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Like they always say, like, the few, the proud, the Marines. The Marines America is extremely proud, man. You know what I'm saying? And because of their pride, what do they do? They went to everybody's country and start putting in their infrastructure and start putting in their philosophies. And because of all that is why this whole thing is going down, man. Mm-hmm, that's right. You know what I'm saying? And then at that time, matter of fact, keep reading. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right. And in that time, no man's going to have pity upon his neighbor. Meaning what, man? Meaning just like how you got people out here when, like, like what's, what's the best to say? Matter of fact, like when they, anytime they assassinate one of our leaders or something happened where you got a race right, what do these, what do these dudes do? They loot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They go up into different um, different stores. They loot. They steal. And it says they shall have no pity for their neighbor. neighbor. So at uh. the same time, they'll probably run up in your house. You know what I'm saying? They might. Tie up your girl, shoot her in the head, take the resources, take whatever bread they could get. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be um survival of the fittest out mm-hmm. here, man. That's especially coming you know with Jacob's trouble. And, and that is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil you their goods because of the lack of bread. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem of America. You know, you always feel like. Y'all can't be touched, man. You know what I'm saying? When you see all these things going on in the news, yo, you got a lot of places over here that's going through famines, man. You know, just all you got to do is just look at Venezuela. Venezuela going you know, through. people forget about them, but you got to really, really keep remembering, mm-hmm. man. Like, these people over here, uh, the only thing they have left is the cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. which, which Esau is going to get you with that because all of y'all are going through a famine over there. So once y'all buy into that cryptocurrency and y'all really believe in that system and they say, here's your way out, just take chip. this chip, y'all mm-hmm. all going to take it. Because yeah, none of y'all true. never fasted before. None of y'all believe in the scriptures, man. So that's going to be y'all way of doing it. So mm-hmm. in that time, that's how a lot of people going to also take that chip also, man, for that mm-hmm. lack of bread, man. Yeah, and you look at you look at Puerto Rico right now. Puerto Rico's going through it. The whole you know? island's going through it, man. Yeah, the whole from, island. From, from all these um, hurricanes and stuff that happened in the last four months, the whole island's going through mm-hmm. it, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High's putting that spirit out there to put you at a low state. To see who's going to be worthy in the end, man. That's right. And, 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 and the prophecies are coming closer and closer to America. Because you look at Chicago, they got martial law. Martial law is happening in Chicago right now. You know, they try to infiltrate and, and, and take out all, you know, the so-called people, the so-called gangsters, the so-called Chief Keith lookalikes. Right. You know, they have artificial intelligence to, you know, okay, guy have dreads, guy, you know, he's a threat. Right. That's how they got it out in Chicago. Martial law is happening in Chicago right now. But some of you people are too, uh, are, are too lost, too blind, too caught up in world star hip-hop, DJ academics. Right. You know, y'all just so caught up that y'all not knowing what's going on. What's the real problem? What's the real reason they have in martial law in Chicago, man? Right, man. Y'all too busy watching Vlad TV. Y'all, mm-hmm. too, y'all too busy watching Atlanta Housewives. Y'all too busy just waiting for the new power season to come back. That's right. Uh, That's right. Uh... Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm-hmm. That's going to be great tribulation, man. That's when a lot of y'all brothers really going to get tried, man. Ain't a lot of y'all brothers out there never fasted before. A lot of y'all brothers never a lot of y'all brothers never been from the from the, from the the um, ghettos and slums, man. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all never been from, from the low, 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 low state, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all never put your body through nothing. So in that time, when the most high bring that tribulation, you're not going to know how to bear through it, man. Mm-hmm. God. That, I sit on that? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we can finally go into the second address 16 right. and 13. Yeah, we're getting off with that. Yeah. 16 and 13. 
Okay. I'm saying we just want to bring y'all a little quick sit down, man. Something nah. to build about the spirits up, man. Nah, man. This helps us as well. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, this is Second Edges chapter 16, verse 13. Right. And it's talking about the nuclear missiles. Okay. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. Right, man. So you gotta remember, so you gotta understand that Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is better, is better than Robin Hood, man. You know what I'm saying? He is the ultimate archer. You know what I'm That's saying? That's right. It says right his right hand. For the most part, when you see an archer, what's their mighty hand? That right, right hand. hand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back. That bend of that bow, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, and this is the arrow. The arrow sh it. shall not miss. So these are accurate arrows, so-called arrows, mm -hmm. but they really, you know, they try to describe it the best way they can look, um, you know, it's portray time it traveling. as. Yeah, they time travel. So, you know. That's from, just time traveling. Yeah, from their perspective, you know, but they talking about the nuclear missiles. Right. You know, when the nuclear missiles get locked onto something, it's not going to miss. So you ain't going to have time to, oh, let me run into the, you know, some elites, they got nuclear bunkers, you know, for times like this, you know, but, you know, the regular jakes, the regular two-thirds, they not gonna know what to do, man. Because when these missiles get shot, you cannot, you cannot be like, okay, let me put get hit a button to shut it down. No, when it gets shot, it's gonna go through, and it's not gonna miss its target. It's gonna hit. Okay. All right. Verse going back to verse thirteen. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. Right. When they begin to shoot into the ends of the world. Mm. So that means that not only, not only are these arrows sharp. With accuracy, they also have high velocity, brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you shoot an arrow, okay, it's only going a few yards. Now, this thing going to the ends of the earth, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the most high wants those arrows to hit, it'll, it'll, it'll go around the earth 20 t a million times if it wants to. It's still going to hit you, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to hit you wherever he deems it to hit, man. That's you know right. What I'm saying? A lot of you wicked brothers out there got a missile for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? It says that, it says in, that, it says in the book of Revelation, it's going to be 200 million missiles, man, that's going to be shot up, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all brothers gonna really feel that fire, man. Mm hmm kind. Mm -hmm. It's reserved from them. Most high got a reserve from them. Good. Um, second Edges chapter 15, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall nor return again. Right, man. And when that and when those arrows are shot out, it's not gonna return again. It's just like an arrow. You can't bring it back once you shoot it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Once it's gone, it's done, man. Kind. It's just countdown. <laughs> it's not a boomerang. You know what I'm just reflect on your life. On if you was a good prophet and Lord will the most high save you, or reflect on your life if you was wicked and you know you about to get hit, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cause once you see those arrows coming at you, man, the mm -hmm. most high's gonna unlock it. And mm -hmm. if you was a scoffer, you know what I'm saying? You know, like vocab low man, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. all these other people out here. If you was mm -hmm. a scoffer, man, mm -hmm. guess what? The most high's gonna play that back. Yeah. He's gonna play back that time y'all was laughing at the prophets. He's gonna mm -hmm. play back that time when y'all was over here scoffing. You know what I'm saying? When y'all was over here throwing bottles and cans at us. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah brother polite when, shooting up the Bible. Yeah, exactly, wicked, brother. Man. You know what I'm saying? Wicked, wicked as well. Most high's gonna destroy man. this place, man. Yeah, That's it. No, no return until they come upon the earth. Verse Verse 15. The Kendall. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. Right. All right. Right, man. That fire don't know how to turn out, man. Until mm -hmm. it knows that it hits everything, until it knows that it has had a deep cleanse on this place, it's not going to go out, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The most side said that America is going to be set up for memorial, man. That smoke is going to be burning forever and ever. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Con, con. And, and, and that says the fire till it consumed the foundation of the earth. That means it's got to hit every single wicked person. That's on this earth has to get destroyed. All right? The fire is going to found every, you know, foundation of, you know, the, the Edom, the Edomites, you know, the, the, the elites, you know, your little foundation. Not, the fire is not going to get the elites, though. We're yeah, going to get the elites. The, uh, the, you know uh, the elect going to get the elites. The elect is going to get the elites, you know what I'm saying? But you regular Edomites, you two-thirds, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to feel that fire, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to feel that fire, man. Y'all the nations, y'all going to feel that fire. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But y'all elites, man. Yeah, how about some y'all shot reserve Con. that right for the elect? Con, that's you know right. I, Lord willing, we could be part of that part of that team, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you 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 caused a lot of problems in our in our in our in our, in our oppression, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying. Go that's ahead. right. Verse sixteen. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. Mm -hmm. So it ain't gonna be. It's not gonna come backwards. It's not gonna do a U-turn. Right. As soon as it's locked and you press that button, it's gonna hit its target. All right. right. Even so, the place that shall be set upon earth shall not return again. Right, man. So when that, when the Most High shoots that arrow off, that's it. Kiss this place goodbye. 
and all your hopes, all your dreams, all your cryptocurrency is going to be at the end. Mm-hmm. All right? Time. That's it? Yeah, that's it. All right. all right. So with that being that's said, it. Time. we'd like to give, If we hope this, first things first, we hope this video was edifying to you brothers out there, you new brothers that's just tuning in. That's Brock right. Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shah for listening, man. Day Howard Shah, You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this helps to wake up the elect in a speedy fashion, man. You know, the water for y'all brothers for listening. That's so right. With that being said, we'd like to give infinity honors to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Again, double honors to the Apostle GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. We Ka. love y'all brothers, man. Keep Ka. pushing this truth to the end. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the Most High again raise you up in a speedy fashion. That's right. Another special shout out to the light of Gentiles camp. We love y'all brothers, That's man. That's right. I you know what I'm saying? And with that being said, come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Shalom. Shalom. Come on, come on.